Today's subject is Bazin's 135mm T2.8 full frame, 1.8 times anamorphic lens. This is a huge lens. When I took it to set, I had too many people go, well, that's a huge lens. So it kind of draws attention in that way. Again, we are filming with the S1H open gate and a three by two aspect ratio for a final ratio of 2.7 to one. This lens is a trip. The short minimum focus for 135 millimeters and the fast-ish aperture combined with anamorphic compression and full frame coverage creates a very unique visual. Vazen's set of full frame anamorphics is the only thing that had me go, ooh, is this what large format feels like? <laughs> I feel a matte box would be a good call. I didn't have one while shooting these tests as the lens is very prone to veiling glare from large sources. Plus, flares that come from a light source hitting the corner of the frame are intense to the point that even closing down the iris all the way still doesn't eliminate them. It was challenging to spot critical focus, especially in close range, because of the long focal length and T2.8 aperture. Make sure you pack a monitor and get focus marks when using this one. Vazen's last piece to their full frame set arrived quietly in the second half of 2021. It comes in PL mount, but that can be changed for an EF mount as well, meaning you can speed boost this onto smaller sensors. Minimum focus sits at five feet, one and a half meters, and focus markings are only in imperial scale. And they finally come marked in feet and inches. Great job adjusting that, friends. Focus throw is about 120 degrees, and I feel it could be a bit longer due to the focal length, so you have more precision when racking. The fact that we have a mark for 193 feet is a hint that you can get really precise until really far, and a longer throw would work in that direction. As usual, focus and iris rings are geared for motors, the front has a 95 millimeter diameter and 86 mil threads for filters, which is all great for usability. As for the bubble shaped lens cap, mm, not a fan. The lens weighs two kilograms, 4.4 pounds, and the weight itself isn't too bad for what the lens does. The challenge comes when factoring in the length of 23.5 centimeters or almost 10 inches, which makes your setup pretty front heavy and creates a hardcore lever effect on your camera mount if you do not have proper support. It did awful things to my posture and back when filming handheld. Vazen's 135mm costs $8,000 and is available to be ordered from their website. One cool thing is if you order the whole set, you can get a four grand discount versus the price for the lenses separately. Plus you get a neat case. Not that I have 20 grand to buy gear, but if you do, <laughs> they're pricey, yeah, but the next anamorphic lenses that cover full frame are Cook's full frame anamorphics at over $35,000. If you go DIY for a better budget, 135 mil is the easiest focal length to get working on full frame, but it comes with specialized gear like the FVD 16B to match the focal length. It'll make a longer and heavier setup too. For sharpness, the Vazen does a great job wide open and critical focus is really hard to nail on the fly. As you stop down, everything gets easier and sharper. You can stop down to T16, but I don't know why you would do that on an anamorphic lens. Flares are purple bluish, whoa. Flares are purple bluish, much subtler than Surrey's, although that's not too hard. <laughs> distortion, what kind of distortion do we see in a 135 millimeters? Bokeh is pretty neat all around. If you wanna get specific, the ovals get squishier towards the edges, but I am still a fan. Lots of bokeh heavy shots when filming anything wide open. 
In spite of the physical challenges of using this lens, the full rig weighs 3.6 kilograms or just under 8 pounds, I really like the images. The veiling glare thing was annoying when pointing in the general direction of large soft lights, and it's something I'd be addressing with a matte box. Always. I really like how the image gets when close focusing. Even though we're dealing with a telephoto lens, the extra sensor height and anamorphic compression add a ton of field of view, making this lens feel like a much shorter lens. I actually really like this set overall from Vazen, even though they had little bumps here and there with quality control and inconsistent design choices. And I'd love to have the three lenses at once to test them on a short film setting. What are your thoughts on the 135mm and the rest of the set? Do you think they're priced competitively for what they deliver? Let me know in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed this one and I'll see you on the next. Chitta Fahadangs, out.